Hello everybody, so today we have got a bit of a summer cleanup job on. As you can tell, we are in the cubicle house. So what we're doing today, or it's going to be over the next few days, but I'll just show you a bit of it. Um, we, are, we are washing out and disinfecting our cubicle beds, divisions, um, just basically everywhere the cows lie. That um, is going to get washed and disinfected. So have you just seen um, this long run that has been done, been washed and cleaned and drying. Um, got two more, two more banks to do this side, and then again, same again, the far side. This is like a mirror image. Both halves of this shed are the same. Um, I'm not going to make you suffer all of it because it's going to be a long, old, boring job. Um, but we'll do a quick time lapse uh, of washing out. Um, then we're going to disinfect this side before we go over to the far side, because um, down the far end, um, there's a couple of gates we need. They were washed yesterday. They need to be disinfected to make some calf pens because um, we started calving now. So we're going to get this side washed out, disinfected, before we go over there. But we'll probably break off in the middle for baling straw, depending on the weather. So this is, like I said, this row has been done. Um, so let's just take a look at it. So this, this shed was built in 2009. We built it ourselves between the family labour, pretty much, apart from actually standing the shed up, um, everything else we did inside. Um, so these mattresses, went down in 2009 and they have now done 12 winters okay so this winter coming in will be the 13th winter um, and as you can see still looking in pretty good shape um, so what it is there is a, a rubber filled mattress for every bed um, they are the width, width of the bed so there's a mattress for every bed and then there is a continuous run of topping all the way down there's no joins in it anywhere. So a long run, that is a full run of top there. It's shorter runs there, but it's important not to have any joints in the beds, because um, that's where bacteria and dirt and stuff can get in. Um, so they're fixed along the front with these, um, like a brisket board to stop the cows lying too far forward. That kind of positions them a bit. Um, and then it's just fixed down the side or down the end <coughs> with a plastic strip. And then the back is tucked underneath the, um, the mattress so you can see the lines in the bed those lines are the mattresses they're rubber filled and they've got stitching up the length of the mattress to keep the rubber in position so it doesn't all spread out <coughs> so it doesn't spread out and then you end up with a hollow so like i said they've been down 12 winters and they're actually lasting far better than i expected them to um, you know when, when we put them in we didn't really know what how long they were going to last um, you can certainly see where the cows lie. It is a, this topping is a little bit worn, um, but it's certainly not worn through. It's still, still waterproof, and the beds have not hollowed out. And you can see, because, because of the way they're stitched and the rubber can't, can't move, um, it just stays in these ridges. Um, and looking, looking up the bed, you know, there's no hollows where the cows lie. Um, so, I'm really, so I'm really pleased with the way they've lasted. Um, still plenty of life left in them yet. So we've just washed them off. So the idea behind washing everything is keep it clean, hopefully reduce mastitis. And then when we and rest, basically to give them a rest, let them dry out properly. So, so they've been, cows have been shut out of these since the end of May. We did briefly bring the cows in, house the cows uh, late May or kind of middle of May around the 20th 20th ish of may we we did housing for a few days but since then they've been turned out cubicle um they've been shut out no there so the cows so they've been shut out so there's no access to these so all the old bedding has been cleared off um and then taken away and then we've come in and washed and washed all the partitions all the cubicle divisions because we show one that hasn't been washed they just get this just just generally dirty greasy um, cows create a lot of kind of grease when they're rubbing on stuff so we're just cleaning all this off get everything nice and clean and by leaving it empty as long as we can it will dry out um, you know after the disinfectant so that everything's dry there's hopefully there's no bacteria left in here at all um, and we should house again in the winter or when we house again um, come into a nice clean fresh uh, housing area like I said all the old bedding's gone it's going to be washed um, left empty and then when we come back what we'll do 
Um, we'll probably do a video of it if, at the time. We will come in onto our clean beds, um, put down some disinfectant powder, uh, and then bed on the top. Because la very end of last winter, we changed our cubicle bedding. Um, we didn't mention it on the channel, um, but I think we probably we should do, you know, because something we've changed and we seem to be getting on okay with it. Uh, and we're certainly going to start this winter with it. Whether it lasts all winter, we're waiting to see. Um, but we'll cover that. Um, it will be September time, I would think, at some point when we start le letting them have access overnight. Um, when we've got quite a few more calved, we will want to get them on some silage um, and just give them access to the cubicles as the weather deteriorates uh, into September, assuming it will. We don't know yet, but as the summer's going, which has been nice and wet, it suits us, suits the grass growing. Um, depends on what the autumn does. It could stay wet and we'll bring them in early. We don't know. But anyway, that's a story for another day. So what we will do, because this is a bit of a, like I said, it's a slow, boring job, I will stick up a time lapse somewhere just to let you watch a little bit. You don't want to see it all. Um, and then we will disinfect later on. So there we go. Right, let's get on. Right, so here we are. Everything has now been washed out. We have got nice clean, nice clean mattresses, um, clean divisions, any walls that are in the cubicles. So we've got crossover passages uh, halfway down this run. And so these have all been cleaned uh, inside and out. So what we so basically, hopefully, everything now is as clean as we can get it. Um, all the back wall has been done and everything is now dry. So what we're gonna do, today's job, um, come around with some disinfectant, give everything a good hosing off. I just make everything really wet and sopping with disinfectant, um, just to make sure any bacteria that are still living um, are not for much longer. And then today is a nice, bright, sunny day. Hopefully you can see. Because um, what we need to do, you know, making a cubicle wet is not what we wanna do. Um, but for disinfectant, we kind of got to make a, an allowance for it and hopefully it will dry out as fast as it can, as fast as is practical um, in this warm, sunny weather. So that is the final little job. So let's get on, um, get some mixed up, just give everything a good spray in um, and then again, leave it as long as, as long as we can really before we need to get stuff in here. I'm just resting it, that's what we need to do. Rest it, leave it empty. So this is what we're going to use, Vercon LSP, um, just a general general disinfectant. Um, that is it's basically what we use, everything we disinfect, we use that stuff. Um, we use it in a foot, foot dip, and we use it in for going around all the calving sheds, the dry cow sheds and everything, that's all been done this summer. Um, that, was, that was done before this, so that we just give everything a spray round, all the concrete walls to the floors. Um, I think, did I show it? I showed it last year. I don't think I showed it this year. Um, but we did did briefly explain it in the first calf of the season video um, where we disinfected the walls and the concrete floor, but we couldn't disinfect the dirt floor, so or the compacted stone floor. So everything that was disinfected um, used this. So this is what we're going to do again. Let me just mix this up into a little battery-powered sprayer. Um, the sprayer tank sits in the bucket of the loader and then I've got a long pipe and we just, shh, you know, as you do. Right, so when we're, when we're mixing up, um, we put 300, 300 millilitres of disinfectant um, to one tank full of water, or one sprayer full of water. I don't know what rate that is. It's whatever it says on the label. Um, and we worked it out to the size of our sprayer tank. Um, so I don't know what it is, but you know, it's, it's right. So let's fill up. So we got our jug. 
with all the lines on. There's 300. So there we go, um, we are next day now, all this. So it took eight tank loads or eight, you know, loads of our little little sprayer. I don't know what's that, 30 something liters. And so eight loads to do the whole shed, uh, 124 cubicles. So hopefully that should set us up for when winter comes. Um, everything is clean, disinfected. Um, it's actually one, it's, it's the next day now, like I said. Um, and I'm surprised how fast actually that disinfectant has dried up. I didn't even see the beds. Again, nice and dry. Um, we did pay particular attention to this uh, edge of the mattress here. Um, so if there's going to be any bacteria, that's where they're going to crawl in under there. So we put plenty of disinfectant underneath. So I think I think I said at the start, it's kind of, um, you know, we spend all winter keeping the cubicles as dry as we can. And then what we've done, you know, we've kind of flooded them, washed them out, uh, disinfected them again. But they've dried out nicely. So that should set us up for a winter, uh, you know, we're going into the winter clean. Um, so, you know, we can't do much more to hopefully make sure we have a winter. Um, we're never going to get rid of mass titus, but we do everything we can. Um, if we start clean and dry, hopefully a little bit less workload all winter to keep it clean and dry. Um, like I said at the start, when, when we house the cows, uh, they will probably come in at night first off. So they'll be housed at night, still grazing in the day, probably. Later, into, later on into September. Um, and then obviously we don't know yet when they're gonna be housed daytimes. It all depends on the weather. Um, we get people come around and say, what's your grazing season? Or when do you keep your cows in? Um, it's different, every year it's different. 
um, it is entirely dependent on the weather. When they go out, when they come in, um, you, you just can't, you can't set a date. So just while we're here, just one little fun fact. Here is a line, yellow line, painted on the wall. So that line represents dead center of the shed. If you look across, uh, we've got cross passages in both ends of the cubicles. So every cubicle division in this shed has got 14 bolts holding it together. Okay, so these are clamped, the posts are concreted in, um, these, these uh, loops are clamped, clamped to the posts. 14 bolts in every cubicle, or on every division, and every one of those bolts points to the center. Okay, so here is the center, center line here. Nuts are this side, and here we change over. So every bolt in this shed points to the center. That's how sad I am. When we put, when we put these in, um, I had to make sure every bolt put it the same way. Just goes on a bit strange like that. So there we go. Anyway, right. So thank you very much for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe and comment and all the rest of that stuff. Um, and we will see you on the next one.